as a part of the So guys, as you guys know, Luke has put out my, a video saying he is doing his own thing. So, you know, good luck to him. And I'm just going to miss him a wee bit because basically going forward, me and Luke will kind of be in this gym at the same time, but doing our own things. So he's got different days doing his things now. As you can see, I'm here by myself in the cold warehouse. From next week onwards, we'll be going back to kind of getting ready for the 2024 season. So today, uh, it's hard one. So I'm kind of doing stuff different now. So I'm going to be having Dan on my phone. I said to Dan that I needed to do, use the time better in events. So I think as a lot of you guys can see, when I'm deadlifting, for example, I actually deadlift at Giants, I can do six or seven reps in like 30 seconds really easy. But when I have that uh, rest and try and get back into the rhythm, I lose, I lose it. I can only maybe do one more and none. So we're now trying to do, be more efficient with the time. So for example, today I'm doing three threes at uh, Wooden Log, whatever that might be, 132, 135, whatever. So we're going to put a timer ahead, say 20 seconds. So every five seconds I'm going to press. So it'll be press, rest, down will tell me to press. So then I get used to the, the time between reps. Anyway, enough talking. Let's go. Chilly. Damn, the clock is coming, it's cold. Oh, jeez. It's just hard when it's cold. So this is 110. state of his hair. Right, I'm uh, doing wooden log. Yeah, you warmed up. Uh, yeah, I think so. Do you, do you want me to do three from the chest or three from floor and up? Uh, three from the floor, clean each rep. Yeah, so we're we just going to do seven seconds of rep, three reps, yeah? Yeah, man. Right. Can you see that? Yeah, mate, that's good. Screen after. Uh. <laughs> Three, two, one, lift. Three, two, one, lift. Three, two, one, lift. How do you want Seven seconds is feels long, but it's not. Three, two, one, lift. Three, two, one, lift. Three, two, one, lift. I thought they were on the. Sorry, mate. I thought they were on the law. Jesus. Well, do you hear you? Yeah. That's a nightmare. That's YouTube demonetized. Get his face off camera. Three, two, one, lift. Three, two, one, lift. Three, two, one, lift. <laughs> nice, man. That was good. After the first set, it was good. Athlete, you will go on my first whistle.
Two seconds. I'm putting this one. Three, two, one, lift. <laughs> nice and aggressive. There we go. That's 64. I'll do another rep at 60. I might do a double. What I'll do is maybe get you to do like lift and not rush this. Maybe do like eight seconds of lift. Eh? So I'm like, it's a single, but it's two, if that makes sense. I'll go on to uh, the 80 and then maybe do like a single and then a, and then a double and then knock out, try and knock out a hundred. Yeah, that sounds good. With this dumbbell, with the log, you've seen like I was going every six or so seconds. Dumbbell is going to be pressed down a bit longer, like eight or so seconds, then press again. Because if this is an Arnold's or something, it's heavier. No one's going to be lifting 10, 11 reps, so you don't have to rush. So it's all about getting each lift looking the exact same. You'll see here, Dan will go three to one lift that like he's been doing. I'll press, put it down, rethink it, wait, and do it again. Three, two, one. Lift. Three, two, one, lift. <laughs> there we go. What should we do here? Let's hit a single. Yeah. Make it really snappy, really switch on that aggression. Do one rep. If it moves really good, let's look at the 100. Yeah, well, I might do two things. Let's see how one rep feels and if I'm warmed up enough. Right. Yeah, that's like, if you're warmed up, you're warmed up. So we'll just see where you're at. That's about 20k. It's not actually 80, guys. I'm joking, Tom. Three, two, one, lift. There we go. That's better. Shall I try maybe one more? Yeah, do another single of that. Yeah, just get used to the position and get tight. Jeez. These are rusty, eh? Jesus. Rusty, the snowman. Three, two, one, left. <laughs> Nice. Now, man. <sighs> Three, two, one, lift. Oh. Easy. Oh, Don't lock out. Yeah, now, man. I think that may have uh, smashed the dumbbell. Yeah, I'll probably do one more and try and just keep it more steady. It's a yeah, just make sure you're not pushing it away. Keep it in line. Keep your elbow good. Right. Three, two, one, lift. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> That's better. I mean, this is why it's good having Dan because... That first rep is not the strength as I pushed that away from me, like I used to do in my orders. And then obviously Dan watching that, he said, you know, try and keep it in line. So the second one, I caught it better and was able to hold it. So, you know, if I didn't have him, I probably would have kept doing the same thing. So it's good to, that's why I wanted Dan on the call each event day, because we're going to do one more. This has always been, or used to be my weakness. It used to take me so long in my head to get this right. So to be able to like hit, I, you know, a single at 100, I'm going to go for another one. If I can hit two singles at this, that's massive for myself. You know, no sleeves either, a massive dumbbell as well, so it's in a good, good position. But it's good having, you know, someone on the phone like this that you can watch and see. But we're going to set up for one more. Is that right? Uh, that's a stone platform, mate. It's a stone platform. Three, two, one, lift. <laughs> Nice. A year ago, you hitting a 100 kilo dumbbell would be f***ing buzzing. Yeah. But like, 
being really critical, just as you hit the bottom of the dip, your elbow just drops a little bit. So what I'll, which makes the press a bit harder. What I'll try and do then is I'll have another minute rest, try one more and keep everything as solid as I can. It sounds stupid, because like it's a heavy dumbbell, but actually like try and keep it solid. Yeah. Don't just let it rest there, like be really active with it. Sweet. Solid. Three, two, one, lift. There we go. That was better. That was loads better. It's just overhead. It's happy, fucking ace. Really happy close. Close. Happy life. Yep. Three, two, one, go. Nice, man. Try something for me. What? You know how you picked it up, then swung, then threw? Yeah. Try stepping over it a bit more and just throwing in a wanna. It might be shit, but it might be quicker. So, I'm starting here. Yeah, come forward. Step here. But go a little bit further forward. Step here. Grab it. Yeah. And just go in a wanna. Okay, I'll try. Three, two, one, go. There we go. Yeah, that was good. So it's just getting that technique. It's not going to save you a lot of time, but over five bags, it might be a second or two. Three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Jesus. That's harder. I just think you have to get it perfect for if you, because if you're, if you're going transitioning and you don't get it perfect, it can f*** up big time. Three, two, one, go. There we go. That's all right. Times and everything. Yeah, have a good one. Bye-bye. All right, take it easy, buddy. Bye-bye. See you, Tom. Bye, mate. Bye. That was fun. Something different. It's cool seeing that as well because, like I said, every rep on the dumbbell is getting better and better. Guys, hope you enjoyed that. There'll be plenty more of these. <coughs> uh, so, yeah, stay safe, smart, and stay spicy, and thanks for watching. Boom. Need a wee boost, mate. Cheek with my protein, free workout. Gonna be a big session. I feel like I'm a cyclist. That's what they do, isn't it? Cyclists have like an energy gel, so this is all I'm doing. Tastes good? Oh. Yeah. Mm. Ah, it's alright. So today is deadlifts. Um, so for deadlifts, we've got a bit of a warm up to do. Um, like hip abductor openers. I don't know what the right word is. We'll go through all of it doing some king deadlifts to warm up and then afterwards it's lying hamstring curls and then um, I'm doing sets of six I think it is in the deadlift today so I'm still going raw um, no suit so just seeing how that goes so hopefully um, things will go okay today second set on the assault bike Oh, who's that? Look behind you, mate. Oh. Nice of Tom to make an appearance. Ah, there we go. One more set to do after this. Don't know if anyone else does this, but... You get different, I want to say the names of them, you get different shoes, like flat shoes, to deadlift. And I was using them last, last few training sessions. I really didn't like them. I like to feel, I like to have my bare feet. 
I got in the socks, I like to be on the platform lifting. That was just my, my 10 cents. I think it takes away the, I don't know, the feel or the connection with the platform. Um, I don't know, maybe I'll change, maybe I'll keep, keep trying, but the last couple of weeks didn't really feel nice with them on. So when I go back to just wearing my socks today, right, wait, 10 seconds. <coughs> oh God. Jeez, that, that, that's that pre-workout kicking in, boy. Oh. <sighs> By this point, Tom would normally be done. Hey! I thought he was a straw man, no, I fucking crossfit her. What are you doing? I'm <laughs> sure my stress levels go up when Tom's about. Just don't know what he's getting up to. John Clark's birthday, everybody. Yeah, I'm going to go down to the Tsunami! Tsunami! <laughs> Guess what, guys? You know what? They're sitting here, but you know what? You one just thing. gate crashing his, his that, training. Here's a Tommy <laughs> fact. It's one Tommy fact, right? You get an adult's ticket for a fiver and kids go free. Sun down on a massive club. <laughs> What's this for you doing? Oh yeah, sorry. That's, That's fine. It's fine, it's the Tom show every day. <laughs> what are you doing with the bike? <laughs> <laughs> Try and beat the calories, eh? You know that crocodile that can't stick its tongue out? <laughs> They can't sit the tongue on me. You know that boxer that, that stays up by Lerg? What about him? Do you know him? Benny. Benny. He's a bit of an eye guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one, boys. I'm here all week. See you later. I'm here all week. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> so you're not here all week. There's something called King Deadlifts. It's no idea why I'm doing it. I lost it there. Is that under? Oh, jeez. So what we got now, boys? Let's see. Strength stuff. So hamstring curl, three sets of three reps. Um, each rep has a 10 second eccentric. So we're increasing the weight. Because my sessions have been extended by a little bit now. I'm starting to drink a wee intra workout for my protein. So um intra workout, a bit of hydration stuff and a bit of creatine in here. So mm. I think it's cranberry and raspberry flavour though. Mm. That's nice that one. I'm just finding I need a bit more energy. Oh God, right let's do this one. 10 seconds on the way down. Line up. One. A bit heavier. So when I first started doing this one, it was really quite, I wouldn't say weak, but it was just a different, when you're holding it on the way down for 10 seconds, uh, it really fatigues for me, it really was fatiguing my hamstrings, so I was probably, heaviest set I was doing was probably 50 to 65, uh, so now we're up to 80 kilos. I suppose the benefits of having all the, the primal strength stuff in the gym, you know, we can target those kind of the smaller muscle groups and the hamstrings. So we're getting them ready, getting them pumped up for the big deadlifts now. So let's see how that goes today. Five working sets of six reps deadlifts. So let's see how that goes. SPD deadlift straps. Now out, now, now, out, now. Using the primal uh, stiff bar to deadlift at the moment. Makes things a little bit more 
difficult. We'll see how that goes. Five. Um, I mean, it's nice training with Tom, obviously, but I spent most of my my time training by myself. So, yeah, as well, it wouldn't make sense at the moment for Tom and I train together because our our training days are different. So, um, like today's Tuesday, that's my deadlift day. Tom deadlifts think on a Monday still, so we might change it going forward. But also, Tom's. Um, doing Arnold's in, uh, in Ohio, so his training plan is, you know, completely different to, to mine at the moment. So, yeah, not part ways, but just just kind of do our own thing at the moment. Cause, you know, there's no point in me going and training with them, doing uh, frame carry when there's there's no frame carry for me. So, so at the moment, yeah, just focused on um, Britain's strongest man. Well, I'll just have to see what happens with the, the wee man he coming. He will be the priority above anything. So we've been having chats with the little guy at night. So I'm like, look, mate, don't worry. Strong man, strong man. Um, but you're the most important thing at the moment and always will be. So having a, having a baby boy is uh, the most amazing feeling in the world. So yeah, really excited for him to come. But yeah, with that being said, hopefully Britain's goes well. Yeah, I think I would like to do Europe's Strongest Man as well. Um, I think that's a good warm up before World's Strongest Man. Get old daddy back up to full strength again. So we're up to 220s. So I'm going to start my first working set with this. So I'll do six reps with this. Um, and then just gradually kind of, uh, build it up, up to around 300-ish, 280 to 300, see how things go today. Yeah, let's take it from there. next 260 and I see how that feels I just find it difficult on the stiff bar I watch um, big Adam, Adam Bishop when he's pulling he looks class on the, on the stiff bar but big Bishop's one of the best deadlifters so we'll get there slowly but surely <laughs> Catches a wee bit of switch around. So this um, block or whatever of deadlifts, there's more volume in it. So that's a kind of thought process. So I think before I've been guilty of not hitting the volume. That's why when I'm competing, I'm only hitting three or four reps. Obvious, isn't it? So if we can hit the six reps constantly and consistently, that should help add a few reps, a rep, even one rep. You know, would have been the difference last year between making podium and not making podium. So if I can get an extra rep on my deadlift, an extra 10 kilos, that's the difference. So there is a reason, I guess, for it. So actually probably the, I'll take a wee seat. The deadlift sessions are probably the, the least hectic, if that makes sense. You know, it's not a huge amount of work, but because it's deadlifts, it takes a lot more out of you. Um, that's why I'm having, you know, the intra workouts, the stuff to keep me going, creating a bit longer breaks as well, so. Uh, just using a bit of common sense, I guess, which I'm lacking in most of my other life.
two left. This is a life, mate. A cold winter's day and a wet, damp gym in Invergordon. Deadlifting. This is basically what strongman is. Every day, for years and years and years and years. Yeah, that's all it is. Right, mate, almost there, so 280 on the bar. Again, still no belt or anything, so just nice and raw. Let's see how this feels. Let's switch on a wee bit. So that was uh, 280, so um, <laughs> it feels okay. It's just trying to get that, get that motivation up a wee bit. But yeah, it was good, it was nice still. I just keep doing those reps. It just gets to me a wee bit more, so, you know, maybe that's on me. Well, it is obviously on me over the last little while, not hitting those reps. You know, the last programs that I was doing had rep stuff and maybe I just wasn't as in on it as I should have been. But you know, I've made a commitment to myself. I need to follow this through, be accountable, and not be, not be a fanny. That's what I'm saying to myself, so. It's 280. I'll just put 300 on. Last <laughs> set today, boys. Hopefully I don't show myself. Bit of a breath, but it was good. Um, biggest output I've done um, in this session or this this block. Um, yeah, it felt really, really nice. So happy with the progression. We just keep grinding, guys. That's all we do. Got back extensions next. This is a bugger. So got five sets of ten on them to do. So we got a new Primal GHD machine, which is really good, really solid bit of kit. I usually hold. Two 30 kilo dumbbells in front of me and then extend. Um, so we'll get that done just now. We don't have a proper back extension machine, but you get like the mini back extensions where you're just a wee bit off the ground. It's a bit, bit of a different angle, but with this one, I'm down. I'm picking up the dumbbells. Jeez, that's tough. Yeah. Oh. So again, this type of movement, a lot like lower posterior chain muscle group, lower back kind of stuff. Haven't done much over the years. So this is something we've incorporated. It should have a crossover um, to like deadlifts, atlas stones, any kind of picking up stuff. So it's difficult. Um, but I think that's what I sometimes forget, is that it should be difficult. Yeah, we'll just keep chipping away with this. Try and do five sets. Oh, you fuck. Oh, Jesus. That's cool. That's tough, man. That's tough. This man is on fire. Anyway, do our set. Let's see how this goes. Oh, Jesus, mother. Oh, I feel myself. 
Elite's losing form in that last couple. Last set, best set, mate. Uh, I've had a long break, not gonna lie. Jesus is harder than deadlifts, man. Oh, jeez. Right, that's that one done. It was okay. First five were good. Last five were a bit shabby, but we're getting there. And now we'll go and do some accessory stuff. Whatever. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> On the camera, you can't just leave us alone, eh? Quick, let's get this done quick before Tom comes. <laughs> of exercises aren't like taxing too much on your body but it's just important to get them all done and probably before I wouldn't get them all done I just f off and not do them sometimes I've got a tendency to feel that I'm in a rush and um, I'm not that's the, the kind of change in mindset in the moment for me all I'm thinking about me at the moment is our baby coming in. It's something that I've been waiting for a long time to, to have. Just focusing on that. How long did you do, Craig? Jesus, well, Craig needs to be at one with the cold. May revisit the cold. I was born in the cold. Ugh. Right. So. I think some people can't be helped. Come on, Craig, you get into it, mate. Mate, you'd be warmer in the fucking ice tub. <laughs> Standing there. There you go, mate. Ooh, ah, ah, ooh, ah, ah, ah. Doing well now. Craig is at one with a cold. <laughs> oh, daft. Do some bicep curls. And with this one, I'm trying to open my wrist up slightly. So on this side, I'm trying to twist it a little bit more because I think that's what's been giving me a bit of tendonitis in my elbow. So when I'm normally like that, but I'm like this. <laughs> Just trying to strengthen all those little muscles. And again, this is pretty light. You know, people be looking at 15 kilo curls, not super heavy. But again, I'm just trying to repair the kind of damage I've done over the years to my tendon. You can see that this hand is a lot flatter than that hand. I don't know if you can see that in the camera. So what I'm needing to do is open that up more and hope that that'll cure kind of the pain I have in my tendons. That's a thought process. So that's what I've been doing the last last few weeks and it actually has helped significantly, which is, which is nice. So we just keep going. Nice and slow. In strength and strong man, um, we're very it's explosive, you know, we need to be explosive when we're when we're pressing, when we're deadlifting, throwing, carrying, running with things. It's very explosive and um, that takes a lot of impact in our body. So we need to really be on on, on top of our recovery game. Um, and that will help with the longevity of her career. We'll do the last set. This ain't going nowhere, boy. So, that is our biceps. I mean, double overhand axle deadlifts, you crazy. I thought we were almost done, but I actually haven't said, I haven't said to the new coaches, have I? 
I didn't really mean to not say it last time, but um, so I'm working with Shane from MST Systems. He's been doing my coaching for the last few weeks. Um, but on top of that, you know, you pinpoint weaknesses, stuff that I feel like I lose out on in, in competitions. So one of them was grip. So um, Shane has a guy who's actually competing in Britain's strongest man, great strong man, Paddy Haynes, who does grip work, who does grip coaching for Shane uh, as part of his training academy. So this is the part I'm doing just now. So, so I do axle deadlifts, behind the neck holds, and then some wrist curls. And then that's the grip session done. So I would say it's quite an easy session today, but it's not, it's, I'm absolutely dying. So this is the, the grip stuff that I've got. So, so this is for all um, gods of grip. Paddy actually is sponsored by, by them, which is cool. So he said, look, go get some stuff from them. So first of all, there's this little extensor band. So do two sets of 20 rep reps just to warm up. There's, there's good people out there, you know, for grip and stuff. It's very specialised grip. I've been public about not enjoying grip events, but that is because, again, probably didn't take any accountability and train grip, trying to work on that weaknesses. Um, usually, the stuff that you don't like is, is the stuff that you're bad at or not as good at. So, um, yeah, so for me, that's what I'm trying to do now, just try and train the grip. Two sets of 20, left hand, and then we want the right hand. Just a bit of rubber, yeah, just, it's got different, like, so this is just a level one. So, this gods of grip, they do, I think, level one, level two, level three, and the rubbers, I guess, is a different, like, elasticity, is that the right word, I guess? Or a different tension in the rubber. So, level one being the easiest. So, I've tried level two, and it's, it's tough. No doubt Big Paddy Boy can do level 20. Um, but yeah, it's just trying to get those hand, the hands thicker and stronger um, for those grip ones. You see that, like when I go like that, like your pinky Definitely. doesn't want to open up. So that's where you're wanting to get it. So it's just over time, I guess, hopefully that'll get a little bit stronger. Again, it's just, it's, it's, it's an easy, it's not an easy one, but it's something that it's easy to miss as well. So just had a really big, you know, back workout, did a load of stuff for that, it took a long time. And before, you know, I wouldn't probably make time for this because I right, I need to go back to the office. We've got, um, you know, loads of stuff to do there. But again, it's, it's a taking accountability and time management and stuff. So whereas before I'd maybe train, come in at three o'clock train, I've got three, uh, like, and then in three or four hours, it's six, seven o'clock at night. I'm stressed out because I'm not been in the office, you know, et cetera, et cetera. But now, trying to focus, do it properly and just make sure, you know, I'm getting two meals in before I train, come in and train. After that, go back, have a protein shake, get the protein in, go home, eat some proper food. You know, just, just those little things. It's not, it's not hard to do, but I find sometimes the simple things are the hardest things to do in life and we have got to stop doing that. So anyway, we've got one more set. One, two, three, three four, five, six, seven. So you can see the forearm kind of pump in there. Um, so, good shot. So let's see what this maniac's got me doing. Come on, Paddy, man. Switch it up slightly on, on them, just because my back, back and hamstrings are feeling a bit fried. So I'm just going to do kind of partial deadlifts rather than full uh, conventional deadlifts. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Probably still just as bad. <laughs> So the axle bar is 40 kilos, I think. <sighs> I want to try and go up to about a 180 double overhand. We'll see how that goes. 120 already, jeez. <sighs> Man, that's good. See how she goes, mate. <laughs> 24, 60, 120. So 160 at the moment. Um, so we'll see how this goes. <sighs> Paddy. So I've got six singles um, on the axle, so I'm going to do two singles at this, and then I'll try and put, another, uh, put up to 180, just get that grip properly nice and warm. <laughs> okay, that's fine. 
feel like um, no, there's a, there's a bodybuilder that wears the microphone like us all the time. Is it Sam Selleck? No, not Siba. Yeah. Sam Selleck, whatever. Yeah. yeah. That was um. So you know when we were doing that extensor bands, my pinky doesn't grip as tight as it should, so it's just mind whatever, getting that mind to focus on that pinky and squeeze that pinky. <laughs> Oh, yeah, mother. That was a better one. Just, uh, that, every time you just got to squeeze. I think when Paddy asked me to test this, I think this was my, like, max, um, I believe. So, Rome wasn't built on a date. What level of band things do you He's probably just got, like, iron bands. Just rubber, rubber doesn't suffice for Mr. Felix. That's better. That's better. Let go of your inhibitions. You have no ego. You are nothing. You are nothing. <laughs> oh, yeah, monkey. Wait, wait, last one. That's better. That's better one, that's good. Last. Ah, just. When you just do it, you know what it's supposed to do. And it just kind of falls into place. So, yeah. Relatively happy with that one. So, just behind the neck holds, or behind the back holds, sorry. Um, just you know, a couple of grips. So, let's try and warm up with this one. And then. We'll do, uh, that's two, 120. I'm doing 140 for holds. So this is, we do three working sets of this. Three, two, one, yep. Two seconds to go. Yeah. Three, two, one, yeah, buddy. I used to be able to yeah. do these because of my, my ass. I couldn't get it past my ass, so. Okay, because with that, that forces your hands to be straight as well, you know, so. Um, just keeps them, I guess, running true. You'd change it 20 seconds, do 20 seconds for the last one. Right, three, two, one. <coughs> Wrist curls, so this is a good one, I like, I like these ones. So it's a superset, so I just do them one arm at a time. So I do 20, 20, 20, 20, flip it, 20 that way, 20 that way, 20, 20, job done. So this is a killer, this one, so start here. Yeah. Nice and strengthened and all this part of the arm. Oh, oh, it's nasty. See that look? I think it's going away. It's weird. It hides. <laughs> there we go. That is that. Just like that. Just like that. I'm going to do a wee five minute breathing just to finish it off. It's just to calm everything down. So when we're training, everything's like heightened, everything's like oh, oh, aggressive, aggressive. So you want to kind of just bring everything down and by just having that five minutes, that allows me to go back. Then I can start eating quicker, get back into that normal state. So I will try and not fall asleep for five minutes. <sighs> Right guys, so we're back in this cold warehouse in the middle of the Highlands. So 
Today we're doing another event session. Now he's here, look, he's come to the Highlands. He got past the borders. Last night I pulled a big deadlift, so that was quite cool. 400 for a single raw. Um, I've never been, I've not been at that weight for a long, long time, so it's good in the off season to do that. Today we're just going over some technique stuff. Three to four events. Let's see what happens. The biggest thing for us is we're sort of at no stage in a prep. We're in a, like a competition off season and compared to other years, it's the best I've seen him. If we're in competition prep, we expect big numbers to move, but to be hitting like a 400 raw deadlift at this stage, you know, last week of an off season, no peak, it shows that, shows that he's strong. So really happy with where he is at the moment. I mean, based on where we are now, I think 2024 is gonna be, should be a big year. I've not seen Tom this hungry during an off season before. We've done quite a few of them together and this is the strongest and sort of most fired up he's looked. So a better package than he's bought before. So it's going to be going to be an exciting year. Let's go 104. Let, like if 80 moves how it should move, we'll go to the 104. It'll be good for you to get yeah. different dumbbells as well. Yeah, and these are like thing. solid as well, so it's better. Yeah. I mean, I'll even do that for like say a single and if it feels good, maybe try it again and then. Yeah, let's just see where, same as we did last week. There we go. Real one more. It's yeah, yeah, no, get warm. Do you want to hear a Tommy Fat, guys? This is long awaited. This is not to the Tommy Fat since the 90s. Cows are vegetarians. Boom. You Googling that? No, mate. Hey, no, that's no. true. You don't know that cows are vegetarian? What do they eat then? Grass. Yep. Milk. They don't, yeah. Drink milk. Well, they don't, they only eat grass and grain. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's the Tommy fact of the other day. Thank you guys. Merry Christmas. Like, I know what you've said is definitely true, but I don't <laughs> understand. That was 50. What was the next one after that? 64. I think that's 60 odd, isn't it? Yeah, do this. These facts have bamboozled everyone. This is the watch putting that down. Do another one with that. Mate, get your hands out your It's cold. There we go. You've been hit by, you've been stopped by. That's no criminal. Michael Jackson. <laughs> okay, buddy. Do you want to do that one again? Do another one, because that's a, it'll be a big jump, is it? It's a 78 to 104. 78 to 104. It's yes, a sir. big jump, but. Let's do another one for just. Yeah. My hands are cold. There we go. That's a WWE. <laughs> Who can't see me? <coughs> nice dumbbells. Just get aggressive. Smash it up. <coughs> there we go. So, it's 104 kg. I think you can see we've got two lots, um, sorry, two big dumbbells and a lot of wee dumbbells. These big ones we got, because when Giants High do dumbbells, they're big. And because uh, this is getting bashed about, it's not as, the weight doesn't feel as kind of solid now. These, wee, these ones are, I mean, those wee dumbbells are solid, so like, they're not going to get wrecked or anything. So when you have that on your shoulder, it feels properly like 104. My head's in a very good space. And, Dumbbell feels unbelievable, that means very good for me because like, you know, I've been back to training dumbbell for, I think, probably like three weeks. Yeah. And I'm a hot and pressing 104, so it just means now that I can literally come back to it now and do it. And that's the thing, because I used to get really weirded out that, to going from big to small, big to small, but that's the easiest that 104s felt. And that's my first attempt at it today and it feels good. So what are we doing now? What's that? 120. But how, this, how good did that look? It, it felt like stupid. It felt like so. Let's try. May as well just try it. Eh? 
the thing is, getting 120 on your shoulder at the end of the off season, it's going to sort of wake you up to what a heavy dumbbell feels like. If it feels good and you think you can press it, then you know we're in a good place. Keep okay. everything the same. Position's perfect. Mm, Looking boring. really, yeah, yeah. Looking oh. really strong. Just get aggressive. Oh. First job's a good clean. <coughs> I hear voices in my head. That's so f***ing easy. Well, what the f*** do we do? That's plastic weights, eh? I got shot that I was actually pressed at. I was like... <laughs> I don't know what to do. Man. That was Started. f***ing easy. I ain't ever seen you press a dumbbell like that. Ah, I yeah. don't know what the f*** to do. You know what I do when I do it? I just like to wrap like a god, yeah? Because I moved from all nest when I was weak. Now I've never got and now I'm f***ing deep. Yeah, I like to lift dumbbells. Are you dumbbells. just making noise? My mind used to be like, <laughs> I hate dumbbells, but now I'm like... They're just big balls like the Atlas stone, so I should be good at them, you know what I mean, like? So I should have like a five minute rest and even try like two. Or go rogue? Nah, I mean, that's like one, two, four, but I think these are more impressive, because they're so... Yeah, they're dense. Well, I just do one, take about 10 seconds, do another one, because if I could hit like... A 120 double, double 120, would be... I know, so I've never really done that in my life. Let's just see, let's just make a single one out over my head. Yeah. Like, I've just done one, which is a bonus, so... Let's do it. Ready? Yep. Yep. I'd just do a single, mate. <laughs> That's a hell of a rest. I don't know, I didn't catch yeah. that really. Oh, you can just... He's strong as... But the big thing for me is it should have been moving like this for a while, but now it is. It shows that, you know, the mental strength that he's got is aligning with the physical strength. There we go. A couple of breaths. Get aggressive. Come on. Let's go, Let's... Tom. Fucking hell, Tommy. That'll do. Jesus. Go on, son. Going hunting in 2024. Bam, bang. Fucking hell, man. I did like good. five reps tall. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. I did, probably, like five, five reps tall, probably. Yeah. F***ing okay, hell. <laughs> I'm bored now, let's go home. Oh, so look at the camera work. Look at that steady cam. Perfect one. Perfect rep. We've got a tiny wee sandbag here. This, this, isn't, this just now is not about sandbag runs arm over arm. It's about just practicing wee hooks. Obviously, Dan climbs, so... He took up hook, so I'm just going to run this standby onto that as fast as I can, try and get the hook on, run back, and then I'm over arm. So three, two, one, go. That failed miserably. Right, that's why we're doing it though. Something like that. Yeah. You clip it on, and it goes up. Until we know exactly what it is, we've yeah. just got to him do wage. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> so do you? Oh. oh, that was good. That was good. That done just some work. This is cool. Uh, why does it stop? Just do a short run, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Get the free pull.
that'll do. That was better. It's good. A couple of throws and then let's fuck off. Yeah, so we think that right, more ram's gonna be a hoist, which is basically like at the, like, like basically what Shaw Classic did. So you're gonna probably run with an anvil, say clip it on here, run to an arm over arm, and an arm over arm, and it's gonna go up, up, up instead of coming towards you. Rope's gonna be tight like it is at Shaw, and it's gonna be nice and fast, nice and easy, so it's good. But this arm over arm's good because it's the exact same movement. We're just gonna keep practicing kind of the arm over arm, and uh, maybe the wee kind of clips in, and that's it. But yeah, nothing to worry about. Now, last one of the day is throwing. I try to step back, I just lost balance. <laughs> step back. What's happening? Um, he's showing us how to climb. Well, hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's been good fun. Nothing of note has happened in any way. Nothing's been done, nothing's been fixed. Just total floor-based activities. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Yes. 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 So you know we said sub 20 would be a good time. That'll do. 11 and a half. So that is sub 20. Obviously the weights are slightly different and there's all the f***ing excuses, but that's a fast throw. Think about this as well. You've got a bit of target, because if I throw it this way, you don't know if it's going to go over. So. Yeah. Every single one has to be like this gap. So the two middle ones are easy. This one I'm throwing at an angle. I'm not throwing straight back. We've not had this out for ages because it's broke. Dan fixed it. Uh, I've always, uh, except from Worlds 2023, I've always been good at sandbags. And I know I just have to just go berserk on them. You know, and I don't turn around anymore, which is the main thing. Um, that was 27 kilograms or something, was it? Yeah, K. 26, 27. 26 and a half. And, I think the Britons were doing 20, so a K and a half is not going to be anything. And that was basically 12 settings. And I started back as well. My t I'm trying to different technique. If probably you guys seen, I didn't really step back. I think each step back could probably add probably another second and a half to that. So, yeah, very good. Um, it's nice having Dana as well. And, you know, sometimes when you're coaching, you know, you can, things can get lost in tr transition and stuff. But I'll never change coach for myself. Like, what's the point starting, restarting your strongman career with a new coach? If you get a new coach, in my eyes, yeah, it's fine for like other, some people, but in my brain, it's like, if I get a new coach, I'm back to square one. When me and Dan were at 100%, we're fine. I mean, everything's feeling good, and I'm on, like, just coming off to my off-season now, and I never felt this good. Usually at this time last year, a few years ago, I wasn't training, I wasn't eating good. I was just unmotivated, not wanting to do it, but, you know, I've got things to hunt next next year, and I know what I need to do. I'm not focused on anything else. I don't care about social media. I don't care about anything else. I'll stay in my lane. I know that if I hit every single thing in the gym, nobody in the world will beat me. And right now I feel so motivated. I feel very, very good going into the season in 2024. My plan is to, you know, dominate Britons, go to Arnold's and prove to everyone that I deserve to be there and to deserve to be at the UK Arnold's. Absolute smash both of them and then come and get what's been missing from my, you know, something got stolen from me last year and I'm coming to get it back. So we're ready. Stay safe, smile and stay spicy. Don't ever forget. Don't ever stop ringing that little bell. Ding dong ding.